Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter and um, I'm doing something a little different. Uh, first of all, you'll notice the audio quality is not gonna be very good on this particular episode because I'm showing you what I have in my audio bag and how I organize it. So all my stuff is in here, so that's why the audio is not gonna sound so great. But yes, we're going to be looking at um, my audio bag. I've had some questions about what I do for audio, so I thought I'd show it with you guys. And right away you're gonna notice this bag looks terrible. Uh, this thing has been through a lot with me. This is my first Canon bag. So you'll notice it's all torn up and has gaff tape all over it. Uh, I cover up the Canon badge, trying to make it look, you can still see it though, I need to put fresh tape on it. Anyway, so this is just a great bag. It's really durable. So I have another one that I use uh, for other camera stuff, but uh, these are great. And so what I did right away, or not right away, but over time, uh, this is actually a porter brace pad um, or shoulder strap, which I like a lot more. And it really lets me know quickly that this is different from the other bags because the strap is very unique. So that tells me right away it's my audio bag. First thing you're gonna notice is on the top here um, is this bag. And because my shotgun microphone doesn't fit inside of the bag, I just actually stick it on top and part of it is gaff taped down. Um, and I'm just lazy and don't wanna get another bag. So this works fine. So inside of here, pull this out and I have my Asden microphone. Um, this isn't the greatest shotgun microphone but it works and eventually I'll upgrade to something nicer. Um, but I have it with this cheap Asden fully metal, still works really well, um, kind of cold shoe adapter. So that slides right in there. And then this is actually a Rode video mic um, dead cat and it works great. You can get this for like $39. Um, and then, so here's the actual microphone, take that off. Um, so gives you a couple different options. Again, I don't always use a shotgun microphone, but every once in a while you'll be in a really windy situation or outdoors, like I was filming in a barn actually and doing an interview and we have roosters and all this crazy stuff. So this is where this is really important um, because it's really gonna isolate your sound. So let me just throw this back together. Um, so you can spend a lot of money on a dead cat, but this one is one of the more affordable ones the road one, and it works really well. I haven't had any issues with it. So, um, I don't always keep it in this bag, but it's a nice little bag. So, that just slides right in here, and um, works well enough. You could get a bigger bag to fit it. I'm thinking about getting a shorter microphone, um, just because that one's kind of a pain to deal with. So that just tucks in there. So that's the top of the bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. And um, first thing I'll mention is at the top area here, I have various audio cables. You never know when you need to convert stuff or use an adapter. So this has like eighth inch to quarter inch and back, multiple splitters, uh, male to male adapters, XLR to um, uh, eighth inch and quarter. So lots of different stuff so I can really get anywhere. Sometimes you'll you know, go film at an event and you need to work with a DJ and you never know what they're gonna hand you. So it's always nice to have multiple different options. And then in the bag here, again, this is a photography bag, so you get the little inserts here. Uh, in the middle, I have the uh, H4n. Still haven't upgraded, thinking about the H6, um, but this thing is working fine. I've had this forever. Still have the case, it works. Uh, some of those crack, but yeah, so there's the H4n. One pocket, I have my uh, Sennheiser um, EWG2 uh, transmitter. The G3 is the newer version of that. And then I have the receiver in this pouch. So quickly I can grab the mic setup and the wireless guy. Uh, and then right here I have a little um, bracket that holds the H4N. This is from for DSLR. So I can have that thing mounted to a rig. This little bag holds um, my audio cable for my headphone. Headphones, which is on the end here, fits nicely in there. This is that sexy kind that has the removable 
uh, cord. So that's right in there. And then the cable's in here. And this is the, I'll open it up for you guys. Um, oops, caught on something. This is the um, coiled one. So this is a nice way to keep the cables all nice and neat. A little irony for you, this is a Bose bag. So let's stick that back in there. So everything has a home, I know where everything is. I try to teach or show people that uh, work with me where everything is. So that's the top interior. Let's look at the front area here. Um, here I have another headphone uh, cable. The, that headphone has a special locking end. So this is the shorter cable. And then I have um, a crappy, tiny two gigabyte card. But you never know, if something ever happens to your cards, I like to have at least one two gigabyte. I'll be able to record a decent amount of audio with this. So I just leave that in the bag just in case my cards, something happens to my cards. Um, this is a uh, AA charger and AAA charger. Um, I use, I'll put a link in the show notes, but I did a lot of research to find a really high quality, uh, long lasting, uh, rechargeable double A's and found these kind to be the, the best. So I have the charger in here. In these two pockets, I have a ton of double uh, A's. And then over here, I have triple A's because that's what the shotgun microphone takes. So that's the front. We switch over to this side. Oops, sorry for that. Um, what I like to do with these bags, I'm always opening the wrong end. So I like to attach something to one end so I can tell what it is. So this is just a little tiny padlock thing. And I just attach it to this side so I know that this side is the H4N um, cable side. Put that, close that back up. Flip the bag over again. And then on this side, I don't keep anything. I have that empty right now. So that's it, that's the entire bag and my quick setup. Uh, you can get these bags for a decent price. I'll put a link to everything you've seen in the show notes, but I like to have one dedicated bag for audio. Um, it's, it can be a little difficult when you have camera, lens, cards, audio, grip, stuff. So I separate it all. This is audio, a little later I'll show you my grip bag and then my camera setup bag. So every bag has its own purpose and uh, that way people instantly know which is which and can help me find stuff. So check out DSLR Video Shooter for other stuff, uh, reviews, tutorials, and all that kind of goodness. I'll try to do more videos like this if you guys are interested, so definitely let me know. Let me know if this bores you and you don't want to ever see anything like this again. Um, and I will see you guys online.